All right, guys, Wednesday night, the 10th of January, just coming up to quarter to six. And we're going to get right into it. We're going to make some flanges. So uh, we're going to make a flange for here. And we're going to make a flange for here, all the way across to here. So we're going to get busy doing that. So I'm going to make a template for this one. We'll make a template for that one. We'll come back when we're ready with the, uh, with the patch to weld in. So we just cut our uh, flange material and we're just holding it under here, under the edge. And we trace the, uh, the line along here. Now we're just going to take out our angle grinder and we're just going to grind up to the line and we should have our flange uh, looking in pretty good shape. So let's go and get the angle grinder and we'll uh, grind that down. All right, let's go ahead and weld this flange in or at least tack it in. Alright guys, we've got that uh, flange repaired now, so I think what I want to do is uh, I now need to do a flange here on the back of this piece but in able to do that, I actually need to flange that piece all the way across so it sort of makes sense that I fill in this floor piece now and attach it to this new flan uh, flange that we made so I think we're going to do that now, I think we're going to make a template to make a patch to uh, patch this all the way back to here and uh, at least we'll get this uh, floor section done so I can make that flange so we're going to do that now. I've got uh, some cardboard standing by. All we're going to do is just hold that underneath. I've got to trim the cardboard down a little bit, but we're just going to hold that underneath and trace out the uh, pattern of that flange, and then we'll transfer it to metal and uh, cut it out. We'll bring you back. All right, guys, here's a quick look at the uh, next patch. It's something like that, and again, it's got that flange on the back. So that'll actually go something like that, more or less with a flange all the way along the back to close that section in. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll make that out of metal and we'll just tack it in place a couple places. We've got the uh, holes to drill for the spot welds here along this flange. But uh, again, we're not going to do anything really uh, serious until we actually fit a bunch of other panels up to it. But we'll make that patch, at least getting it sit in there, so we can actually start making some of this other stuff that needs to uh, to go back in there. This uh, piece for instance, this piece here goes in here something like that if you can see that, probably can't, a little higher. That goes like something like that but obviously there's a piece that comes up from the bottom as well so we have to make that piece as well. So anyway it's like I said it's a bit of a puzzle but uh, we'll work on fitting that uh, first patch in there as a uh, a good foundation to build up from. Well, so close but yet so far. I got it patch made but uh, I'm not happy with it. It's just too big of a gap. It's pretty good except for that center part there. It's about as tight as I can get it so uh, that's going to be too wide of a gap to fill with weld so I guess we're going to have to cut another patch. So unfortunately some rework and some rebending because I thought that patch was looking pretty good. So, anyway, we'll make another one. Trial and error. All right, guys, here's where it starts getting a little uh, more complicated. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've tacked that patch in there down the bottom. So, that's looking okay. It's still a little bit wide there, but I'll be able to fill it no problem with welds. So, we're good there. So, I'm working on this back panel. And I believe there's a piece that goes like this. If I, if I look at the inside, of the uh, of the body tub, there's a little panel that goes like this. It fits up against that rear flange. So basically, if you take a look at this piece here, this is the flange right here, if I just put it this way. So that's the flange that I just welded in on the back there. And this is the piece that uh, attaches to the front of it. This comes about here. Alright, something like that. 
and that goes all the way across to here. Obviously I've cut it off here. Anyway, and then this piece that I cut out, one with the, uh, if you remember it's the one that's got the, the little pinholes in it. So that piece then goes back here. Let me just grab a magnet maybe. It's a little bit difficult to explain this, but that piece goes something like that and that overlaps that bottom piece. So I'm not sure if that makes sense or not to you, but that's the way that's meant to go. This flange on the back of this is the flange for the drain scuttle. So it gets attached to the back of this patch via a flange. So that's what that's going to look like, something like that. Alright? Makes sense? So I think what I'm going to do after I've set all that is make this piece and just sort of tack that in there and then we'll start working on some of these pieces here. Alright. Confusing. Alright guys, one more last update for the night. Let's see if you can uh, make sense of this. Alright, so I've made this piece down here and as you can see I put a bit of a flange on it uh, because this piece here which is this piece here, also has a sort of a step, let me see if I can get that in there, has a bit of a, a flange on it, like a step flange. So I've done the same thing here on this piece. So it looks something like that, like I mentioned that goes something like that, okay? Now this piece here, which I mentioned to you, goes here, all right? So this has the flange for the scuttle drain that fits on the back of this patch like that all right so basically fits right in the groove so that's why that flange is I don't know if I can show you that that's why that flange is offset because that panel fits directly in the groove so this basically now should fit into this, right? So here's your, sorry, let me get this in camera. So there's that, and there's that. That's how that's gonna fit, all right? So I just thought I'd give you a quick shot of that. Anyway, if that's the intent, <laughs> whether it's gonna work or not, that's another story, but uh, I just basically took a hammer and chisel and pounded that out to make that, uh, to make that offset. You can see it's sort of a, slight offset there. So anyway, I think that'll probably work, but uh, I think we've had enough fun for this evening. So it's, uh, again, just coming up to quarter to nine, and that's about my limit for the evening. That's when my stomach tells me I'm, uh, I'm hungry and I can't concentrate and I don't want to continue on. So we'll leave it there for tonight, and we will get back out here tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what we'll do tomorrow yet. But uh, we'll probably make a few patches to go here on the uh, front of this bulkhead piece. We'll probably make a few of those. And maybe we'll have to start trying to make that drain scuttle because obviously that flange, whatever I make for the scuttle, actually has to flange to this piece before this piece goes on as a cover. So that's the plan. Anyway, I don't think I have enough for an upload tonight, but uh, maybe we'll get back out here tomorrow and we'll have something to show you. All right, have a good night. All right, welcome back. It's now Thursday evening, 6 p.m. January the 11th, and uh, back on the 68 TR250 tonight. And we are going to, all right, where I guess I could recap where we left off. So I had made this patch yesterday uh, and just got it laying in there. So that's going to look something like that. So I think what we're going to try to do now is we're going to try to make the patches to close this area in and I've got those patches standing by. This is the patch that came out of here. I'm not going to maybe just show you that real quickly. That's the patch that came out of there so uh, that's no longer required so we can get rid of this guy. We know that's been done with or dealt with. So this guy here has got to go somewhere like this. All right, and he's got a flange on it that comes out to the side here. We've got to build that, so we're going to make a new panel for this. Uh, then we have this guy here, 
who fits in something like this. So what we're going to try to do is make one big patch template to fill up this area. Might be a little bit difficult because of this flange work here, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can work around. Anyway, uh, at the very least, we'll end up closing this bottom section in, and then maybe we can work our way upwards. So it might be a two-part patch. We'll have to wait and see. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, we'll bring it back when we make some uh, progress. All right, guys, I've decided to continue widening this patch out. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, there's a little pinhole there. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. See that pinhole? And a bunch of pinholes here. So it's pretty rotten up to about here, I would say, or pretty thin at least. You know, pinhole or pinholes here, pinholes here. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to cut another little piece out of here and maybe try to detach this from the bottom. I'm trying to figure out how this is attached. It looks like it might be spot welded in there. It's hard to say. Anyway, we'll try to remove this panel intact so I can get behind it and uh, repair what I can while I'm in there. All right, guys, a quick look of that uh, patch cut out. And uh, the only good thing is it served to uh, show me that I'm going the right way as far as repairing this flange. It was a little bit difficult to sort of see how these flanges were put together. It is three layers of metal, so we have this outside piece here at the front. Then we've got the, uh, the flange for the scuttle uh, drain, and then behind it we have this flange here. So it's basically three layers of metal in here. So you can see a little bit of a notch here. So this is the back flange that's sort of rusted. Or actually, the back flange is sort of intact, but the front flange is rusted out and left this little pocket here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix this flange piece while I can. This uh, little pocket here is exposed. It's actually one of these little cutouts in this front flange, and that's why I think it's rusted out. So I definitely want to fix that because I want to actually put that sort of uh, pocket back in the uh, front uh, face of the metal to make it look stock. So anyway, we're sort of going in the right direction. At least I'm a little bit more confident now that uh, going this route with this flange that I made, and you can actually see it here lines up not too badly. That's kind of the idea. That's the, uh, the bottom piece of metal here we're talking about. Then the uh, flange for the uh, pocket goes above that. And like I said, it's flanged backwards a little bit. So the flange for the pocket goes, and then we got the metal that drops down on top of that. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick look at that. I hope I'm not confusing you. It is a rather confusing not uh, being here and seeing it in person. I'm trying to do the best I can to describe it. Okay, we'll go to no length to get this car perfect. So we've got this little tiny flange patch in here that's going to uh, basically weld to that rear flange. So here's the little flange that we made. And again, it's just going to fit right in there in this little pocket. Can't get it with my gloves on. It's going to go something like that, and you'll never know. I'll come back after I weld it in and grind it down. But there's what it looks like now. And we'll come back in a minute. All right, guys, that looks better. That's where that little uh, divot was. It's now uh, being filled and uh, ground down. So I think we're ready to go back to the previous step, which was replacing uh, this flange here. So maybe we'll do a piece all the way across. Uh, let's find out what we're going to do. I know this piece has a flange on the end of it. so. Anyway, like I said, uh, I'll figure it out and I'll come back when I do. Well, it's definitely slow going, guys. There's nothing uh, quick about this process, but I think we're making a little bit of progress. So I've got a template in here for a patch to cover this area here. And it's got these little funny uh, cutouts on the bottom, which I've just noted, note, noted there. This patch needs to be a little bit longer, but I think this one's okay here. So I think we're going to do go ahead and we're going to scribe this out onto metal and make this a little longer like I'd mentioned. And uh, we'll see how it fits and then we may tack that in there. We'll come back. Alright guys, we're just getting ready to uh, tack a patch in. So we've got the patch here ready to go. We've got it zinc primed in the back. I primed the heck out of the, uh, the pocket as far in the uh, inside as I could with zinc primer. So, uh, and we'll give it another shot actually uh, before we actually close it in entirely. But uh, this is going to go like something like that. So I think we're just going to tack it in there, maybe a couple tacks, just to hold it in case I need to remove it. I think I'm going to be okay if I just tack it there. I'll have access to, uh, to weld this guy in. So 
Uh, I think we'll just tack this guy and uh, we'll come back. All right, guys, things are uh, moving along not too badly. I'm quite happy with that uh, top patch. Uh, will be once it's uh, fully welded in. And uh, I'm quite happy with the, uh, the bottom patch I made. You want to see it from the inside. It looks pretty good, I think. I mean, you can see I was trying to follow the contour of this line down for that stepped flange. And I think I did a pretty good job of that. Not too bad. So what happens now is, let me see if I can... Uh, angle this camera properly. So the flange for this gutter goes inside here. So between this flange and this flange, the flange for the gutter fits in there all the way along up to about here. There's a, it doesn't go all the way to the edge of this uh, bulkhead, but it uh, has about a few inches away from the side of the bulkhead. So we're getting there. Anyway, uh, I think what we'll do now is we've got a bit of time. It's uh, 8.30. So normally we'd be just getting ready to go uh, in for dinner, but uh, like I said, we'll uh, spend a little longer out here. And uh, maybe we'll work on this patch here. See what we can come up with to uh, close off this area. So let's give that a shot. All right, guys, a quick look of the uh, old patch that we removed from this area. I'm going to have to make the bottom a little bit longer because I made the bottom a little bit longer on there. So I need to basically drop that uh, patch down maybe probably an eighth of an inch or so. But anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. So uh, it's uh, like I mentioned, it's got a flange on this edge and a flange at the top. So uh, let's see if I can make something that's going to look uh, sort of like that. We'll make it up to the, uh, the, the flange. And uh, then obviously the other piece we can make from the top piece as a wraparound down. So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're working on that patch in behind and I just wanted to sort of refresh your memories how this went. So this side panel goes on after and this flange on the side panel meets with the flange there and they get bent over together. So uh, that's looking like it's lining up pretty good. Um, so obviously there's going to be a flange that needs to go on the top here which will go underneath basically. Let me just drop this. So this is sort of like a double thickness flange. So this piece here is going to have a flange that goes underneath this and gets attached to it. We're going to probably spot weld that underneath. And then it's got a flange that comes from the top down across and back. Actually it doesn't come back up here because it flows into this channel so there is no rail here. So basically it just comes down and across and then joins to this piece here. So uh, that's what we're trying to make. So I think the patch in behind is looking pretty good. Um, I was just trying to get the angle right because you can see, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a curve. You see that's got a curve. So I'm just trying to get the curvature of where I actually want to put that flange in. It's a little bit difficult. Because remember that flange has got to sit up underneath this flange. So anyway, I think we're going to uh, try that there. We may actually weld the flange on since it's got a bit of a curve in it. It might be easier just to uh, cut that back patch out and then actually weld the flange on. Flange on. Uh, so anyway, we'll figure it out. So we'll remove this side panel, take that patch out, transfer it to metal and cut that out. All right, guys, we've got another patch made and we did manage to, uh, to bend the flange on top of it. So looking like it's in pretty good alignment um, so yeah I've just fit in this other piece I'm not gonna do it now but uh, I fit that in and that does line up with that uh, with that flange eventually it's too hard I'm gonna knock that patch off but you get the picture I hope let me see yeah something like that so it's gonna go like that these two flanges, as I mentioned here, you see the flange for the front piece and the flange for the back piece, these get spot welded together and actually bent by hand. So we'll fix that. You can see I've just put the sail top piece back in and the corner piece. So this piece will be made and we'll have a flange on this side and like I would mentioned, we'll flange it down to the edge here and close this off and join it up with this patch that we're going to put across here. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, anyway, we're going in the right direction. I think we're going to call it a night. It is 9.20, so I think we've uh, done our uh, more than our power hours tonight. So uh, anyway, you can see where we're going. So 
So we'll probably do a little tacking in here. I've, the only thing I've got to remember is I've got to get that pocket on the back. And I'll show you the inside here. So we know we need to get that pocket in there. It's just uh, I've got to remember that I've got to attach it. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Whether I just thread some tech screws through there just to suck it up to the flange and then just uh, plug weld the uh, weld shut. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet because I'm not going to be able to get a clamp in there, I don't think. Although I do have a big clamp. Anyway, we'll have to investigate that other. It is a concern of mine. But anyway, you can see the insides sort of coming together. That's the way it should look like. So we're getting pretty close to uh, having to fashion that pocket, yeah, which is a good thing. So anyway, we'll uh, upload this tonight. Hopefully it all makes kind of sense to you, the direction I'm going. And uh, it's, it's very slow and uh, a little tedious work. But uh, anyway, it seems to be going back together okay. Uh, I was a little concerned, like I said, about that uh, figuring out that flange piece for the pocket. But it seems to be coming together the way it should. So anyway, we'll leave you there. And uh, like I said, we'll upload this and we'll, we'll get back out here tomorrow night. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.